We know Rice Cup's been grinding out the Corporal Beast, but he's discovered a brand new method that's going to get the absolute max kills per hour. And he said it's all unlocked because of the brand new Void Waker. Using that spec, along with the Fang to attack Corp, can unlock the ability to get around 10 Corp kills per hour. All right, we just did... Oh my god, we did it. 10 kills an hour. Holy using void wicker spec only uh you might be asking why I have zari crossbow well this thing is actually really good defense it gives good magic defense and good melee defense so i still bring it for the for when i'm eating but yeah void worker specking only i feel like it's actually better than using ccb specs for uh solos at least so the man does also have some very tanky gear on while doing this, but 10 kills an hour without that tedious process of teleporting out and back in. And when I watched the man's void, he wasn't being tick perfect running super quickly in. He was having a very chill low key stream, so it's possible you can get even more. Dino is right at the end of a massive death match, but he just can't seem to finish his opponent off. He's got two heart prayers off. Surely he's dead. That. Game, this is a dang Ooh, good fight. Good fight, man. That was way too close. That was a lot closer than I wanted it to be. Pulling just about 300 mil for that, and he only had one sip of brew left. That one came right down to the line. Bad man, unfortunately, has killed a lot of Verdeon, but just can't seem to get the drop. Always dry, as usual. How just how it always is with a uh, how it always is with my account. Always dry on something or crying about something. Just kidding. Just kidding. Have we seen a more perfect and a better reaction than that one from this legend? Well, speaking of legends, Rigandau wants to max his Slayer level and get 99, but unfortunately, this happened while waiting for it. Not paying attention to the little Hydras attacking him. Lucky he wasn't a hardcore. He went down, but this is him running back to get his gear. Where's my... The man was getting very lucky and there was a lot of people from his stream there waiting for him to get it as well, so he quickly hurried back. Two thousand two hundred and thirty total. The man has been gaming extremely hard. I honestly feel like it wasn't even that long ago he started up this Iron Man journey. G'day, legends! If you can't believe we upload every single day and we've uploaded over one thousand one hundred videos, all you have to do to say thank you is drop a sub. Now we've seen some very tough old school RuneScape streamers during our time, but we certainly haven't seen anyone as hard as this. Five deaths, purple, thank you. We'll take that. <clears throat> I'll take my nice saying staff. A very big call on five deaths, but the man did receive a purple. Will it be the saying he was after? Hold on, wait one sec. This is gonna be a saying staff. It's a saying staff. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> you literally couldn't script that clip any better. A hundred mil for the dirty stinking main. Mr. Weasel was unfortunately streaming off a potato, but these next couple of clips are very high quality. Unfortunately, he was chasing down this PK and ran into multi. And of course, there was a mini team waiting. They took him out, only claiming 30 mil worth of loot because he did keep his void wake. But you won't believe what happened next because when he went back out into the wilderness, he found one of the members of the clan AFKing out there, so he just had to attack him. And I don't know if that guy's computer DC'd or what happened happened there, but the streamer ended up receiving 120 million, which easily makes up for the 30 million death. But just remember, never go AFK in the wilderness. Maxing moment. on your birthday. Shout out Behemoth. Let's do this. Level up. Oh. It's over. A very nice shout out from the lads and a great accomplishment on your birthday. Happy birthday and congrats. Traditionally, we've seen Oda Block show Bodhi a lot of respect, but here he has a very important and a very mean message to him. Nef come in, Bodhi! Always oh, starting the stream acting like. Hi, my. Good morning, gentlemen! What a stupid ass! 
I'm sick and tired of seeing that shit. Idiot. That man voted. <laughs> that man. Go you motherfucking shit. Oh, it seems Odablock has had enough. He was absolutely going ham on the streamers. Danks has just pulled a new PB at the Corrupted Gauntlet, but he's done over 800kc looking for one very important item. Bova? No f way. It's over. And that item literally changed everything for his account. He took it straight to Bandos and look what else he got. In just two days, receiving the Bofa from a long grind and then straight into the nice pair of Tassies. I've been enjoying the champions we've seen lately, but the one Bodhi has found is absolutely amazing. Oh, oh my god, what an absolute beast. He's poking it down. Oh man, beast, my friend. I'm gonna wait a bit. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna lose some experience if he talks to me. I don't think he, I don't, I'm kind of like I'm kind of like dirt under his shoe though. So I mean, look at his gear, bro. He's looking at me and being like, "What the hell, bro?" I'd appreciate it. So. But the evil side of Bodhi's conscience took over, and he just had to test what would happen if he opened up that gate. Wait, open the gate. Wait, can I? Oh no! Please, please! Oh, bro, he was paying attention, mate. I respect it. I respect it, mate. Good reaction time. Personally, I absolutely wish that champion went down. Do you think it was someone watching Bodhi stream with a bit of bait, or was someone actually enjoying the game that much? Once again, we find Mog time at the entrance to the cave, just hopping around the worlds, but he needs to be very careful. Oh my... Bro! I just got double clawed on login! What the f***? It looks like the man did learn from his past mistakes this time, quickly putting on protect item, and it was lucky because he went down fast. And speaking of going down fast, George is fighting someone who is using AHK, and George is just struggling to stay alive. Guys, get the uh, name then. If that's actually AHK. Bro, he catches every freeze. It's so cringe. Bro, every... Freeze, bro. It's so cringe. The man was getting very agitated. He just couldn't quite make it to that mage. He was so close. But when he finally made it, he had to be very careful because you lose your prayer. Now, I could have just got smited to the void waker. And it looks like Dino has left the singles PKing and joined the dark side. Here he is trying to spear this very poor singles PKer into the teleporter. Send him, boy. You sent it too early. Let's go, my boy. You smite that. Smite that fast. And look at all the sits in the chat. Dino and his buddies will be living it up at Camelot Beach with their 75k loot. And while we're looking at the multi-teams, let's see what Alfie got worn just before he teleported out to the wildy. Well, it's a bait and like what kind of pickers are falling for that nowadays and you with the macers, they wild today. Well, it's not a... Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh! We don't want to watch that! And look how massive that team was. The big waves running past Alfie going in to smite someone for their Karassi. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but you know what gets even more numbers than that multi-team is the number of you legends that drop likes on these videos every single day. Thank you very much.